Okay, so we're getting to the business end of the paper now. Uh, questions are getting quite difficult. Let's take a look at this one. It tells us that the diagram shows a solid made from a hemisphere and a cone. It says the radius of the hemisphere is 4, as shown. The radius of the base of the cone is 4, again as shown. We're asked for the volume of the solid, correct to three significant figures. Okie doke. Now, uh, this particular shape, we don't have a formula for a volume. But we do have the formula for volume of a cone, um, which I'm going to write down. And it's on the front of the paper, so the volume of a cone is normally found by doing one third times pi times r squared times h. That's the volume of a cone. And likewise, we know the volume of a sphere. The volume of a sphere is also at the front of the paper. S P H E R E, and that is 4 over 3 pi r cubed. Okay, pi times r times cubed. Uh, pi times r cubed, should I say. Okay, now if I know the volume of a sphere, that means the volume of a hemisphere is going to be half of that, surely. Okay, so the volume of a, I'll just call it h sphere, S P H E R E is going to be all of this times by a half. So half times 4 over 3 times pi times r cubed. Okay, so if I wanted the total volume of the shape, I would need the volume of the cone and the volume of the hemisphere. So let's see if we can get that. Right, now because it's a hemisphere, okay, um, I also know that not only is it 4 in that direction, but it's going to be 4 in every direction, okay, from the center of the hemisphere to the outside, okay, uh, to the curved space, should I say. So if that's 4 in that direction, that means that the height of my cone from top to center has got to be 10. So let's see if we can work out the volume. The volume of the shape is going to be one third times pi times the radius squared. The radius is four, so times four squared times by the height of the cone, which is ten. And I'm going to have to add to that the volume of the hemisphere. Well, the, the hemisphere is going to be a half. Just mind this, by the way. I'm going to put brackets up. Um, so that's the volume of the cone. And now we're getting the volume of the hemisphere, half times 4 over 3 times pi times radius, which is 4 to be cubed, equals. And now I'm going to let the calculator do all the hard work. Let's get the calculator out, and let's put it in as we see it. So I'm going to open brackets. We're going to do 1 over 3 times pi times 4 squared times 10. I'm going to close the bracket. Now you could work that out if you want and write it down. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to let the calculator do all of the work here. I'm going to add to that a half times, I need another fraction, 4 over 3 times pi again times 4 cubed this time and then we're just going to close off that bracket and then we're going to hit equals we get 96 pi in fact i'm going to write that down so the examiner can see 96 pi we need to give an answer to three significant figures so get the calculator back out hit sd to three significant figures 3015. Well, the third significant figure is here. It's the 1. Well, look at the digit beside. It's a 5. It means I've got to round this guy up. So we're going to get 302. So we get 302 centimeters cubed.